Daddy Tax Happy Hour. Dig. Oh, damn. Are we back? I mean, I mean, we're, 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 we're slow grooving into it. Like we're getting started. It's like, look, man, ain't nobody, ain't nobody woke up from a deep nap and immediately ran the Indy 500. He started off with like a kid's scooter first for just down the block. That's a good metaphor, right? Running, running the Indy 500 would also be a curious decision uh, (laughs) instead of driving it. Again, to my point, yeah. I said, ain't nobody yeah. did that. Nobody's <laughs> so, done it. So what you're saying like, is I'm right. Fact. Yes. You're 100%. What I'm saying is you <laughs> nailed it. Nobody has run ain't the Ain't nobody Indy woke up from a nap and then ran the Indy 500. <laughs> Fucking nobody's, hell no. Not a nap, not a sleep, not awake for 48 hours. Nobody at all. Hard stop. Oh, God damn. That was a fun show last night. Uh, you know, normally we're so spent after doing the evening full night attack show that it's hard to fill a happy hour, which good news, this happy hour will only be 25 minutes because we have to run off and do the angry chicken, which sounds like a a sex crime, but it's not. We're not. No, no. We're going to go do talk a little Hearthstone with Joss and uh, Garrett. Guys and Garrett. God. Just, brain is just oh, oh, dude! Uh, by the way, that's a, a spoiler alert from from your 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 older brother. Um, yeah, it gets uh, you get more and more cozy. Like it gets scary to approach forty, but on the other side of forty, becomes an excuse for everything. It's fucking great. Like you feel you can no just say you, you for, forgot everything, well, well, and, or, or you could just you don't even need to apologize. It's just you act indignant when anybody acts like they should rem- you, that you should remember their name. And you're like, really? Supposed to remember all the names? Come on. See, here's the problem, though, is that um, the problem is that I, I also like I'm forgetting it when I wanted and I need to I need to do the showman. I need to invoke subroutine right. showman. So it's like today on the stream we're doing uh, uh, on on PX3 next Wednesday for the first time. Uh, uh, Andrew President Heaton and Barack Obama. Uh, Jen Briney of the Congressional Dish, uh, people who our audience is very well kind of meshed together. Uh, we're going to do like a three person podcast. And I literally was just like, uh, you guys have all wanted it. Here it goes. Me, Andrew Heaton, and <laughs> Congressional <laughs> Dishes. Oh, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Is I, I was ju- like, man, 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 man. Like, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, Jen Briney. And I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, I'm, I am two years away from just can totally I, embarrassing myself on that. Can I, can I, can I reveal a thing that is happening in real time? As yeah, you're I'm, saying it, I'm like, yeah, dude, that's why they say never put yourself in a position to name three things. For example, uh, quick, real quick, uh, access the name of that dude who uh, was asked to name the three departments, uh, cabinet level positions that he would eliminate. Yeah, you know, Rick he Perry. was, he was yeah. the governor of your state. Uh, just access his name. Whatever you do, don't make the mistake he made and fail to access it until yeah. you said the words Rick Perry just now. Could not access it. It's could like not grab it. And it's like it, 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 it's it's not a matter of you being unfamiliar with the person. It's just like I don't know. You get you get you get a little older, and it's like you could just tell. Oh yeah, that's not going to be there in time. So I, you work I, around it. I think also part of it is like my brain was wired on quick recall. And when I had greater capacity in my brain, I could pull like all of them really fast. So my instinct is still to grab things really fast. Well, it, it, it's go. to rely on, on the hardware, uh, the scaffolding is what I think of not necessarily hardware, but the scaffolding, like you could always rely on, I'm the guy who can always retrieve the quick zinger in in the moment. And so you just write that into the script. Uh, you just, yeah. instead of actually writing the zinger, you write down Justin retrieves quick zinger in the moment. And, and now I can still pull it as fast. It's just now it's highly likely that it's not going to be what I want to pull out every time. Right. So it's like we had one thing where this happened politically in the last couple of weeks. So Rick I'm on Perry. TMS. I'm on, yeah. Sorry, I just TMS. now accessed it. That was his just name. It was, it, was, it was Rick Perry. Yeah. I'm on TMS, and they're like, oh, has anybody um, run for president, won it, lost, and then run again and won? And Wait, I was like, isn't Nixon one of those? 
he didn't win the first time. He ran oh, and lost. He ran and lost. And then, Got it. Yeah. And then ran again. Uh, and there is one, but I said it was uh, uh, Cleveland. No, it was Garfield. I said it was Garfield. And I think I've been saying Garfield for six months now. Turns out it's uh, Odie. It's not. It's not. It's not Garfield. It's Cleveland, despite the fact that Garfield was from Cleveland. And that's something that I've only later started relying on. And I'm pretty sure it's just to spare myself the embarrassment that I'd rather be the guy who knows fucking so much about presidents that, that you mistook that the know, city that he came from for, for the man himself. Exactly, yeah. I know it's like, and I have been weirdly, I've been to Garfield's grave. in <laughs> Cleveland, So I'm, okay. I'm relying on that. Not on purpose. Like I was randomly walking through like Cleveland and I found, I stumbled upon Garfield's grave, but like there is, I, I now at that. And then what was the other thing I, I had, some other, oh, oh, Katie Porter and Katie Hill, two congresswomen, one of which has become very popular in progressive circles. The other was popular in progressive circles until she got busted in an embarrassing oh, revenge uh, board thruple situation. Yeah, okay, so help me out if I remember this correctly. Basically, she was dating people that worked with her and they were all cool with it. And then like at some point she left and her staff retained the password to Twitter and then decided to tweet from her official account. Like uh, close, what a C close. word basically. So here's what happens. She is young, attractive, rising star in progressive politics. All of a sudden, uh, likely because of her disgruntled husband on the verge of divorce. Oh, that's right. Uh, he starts leaking out, likely him, the fact that they were in a thruple relationship with a person on her campaign staff when she got elected. Right. Uh, that, in and of itself, survivable. Whatever. She's from a, a, an L.A. district. She was very popular when she got elected. That's probably fine. Not as fine is that she allegedly was also sleeping with people in her current office, which that, especially post Me Too, Big no no. You cannot be fucking people in your office uh, as a congressperson. So instead of going through congressional discipline, she resigns and uh, she remains very popular uh, in LA. She's got LA friends. Next thing you know, they're going to make a movie about how she was railroaded. It's got everything political intrigue, sex, a woman being a powerful woman being taken down, everything you'd want. And that's all cool until the staffers who still retain the password on your official congressional Twitter account is like, no, she's a bad person. And she, there's a reason why she resigned instead of like facing congressional discipline. She was definitely doing things she shouldn't be doing. And, and yes, she had a shitty ex-husband, but can, can I ask just, just sort of a blue sky question here? And this is me. Yeah. I, I, I don't have a hot take. I am aware that, uh, that 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 my dating story hopefully has ended for the rest of my life, and and it's I'm I'm fascinated. I'm I'm endlessly asking Bryce about his dating life because uh because I just have no I I have no north star when it comes to this nowadays. Um, yeah. But but I guess I we seem to be more aware than ever of power dynamics when it comes to romantic interests, and we are more aware than ever before of the inappropriateness or, or, or what we currently are agreeing upon as inappropriateness of people in high power positions, um, uh, uh, taking sexual advantage of people in low power positions. Um, d it feels like we're zeroing in on some version of you. Nobody should ever date anybody they ever work with because by the nature of work, somebody is in a higher position than the other. And, and keep in mind, this comes from somebody, full disclosure, um, it, it used to be a hilarious story 20 years ago about how in a, in a full-on touring stage production company, uh, 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 in order to save money, uh, there were two beds in a bedroom and I could either sleep in the same bed as my friend C.J. Johnson, the illusionist, or I could sleep in the same bed as... Uh, 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 Bonnie, uh, then Sims, Br uh, Sims before <laughs> no, yeah. Sims Brushwood, uh, yeah. uh, the, the onstage assistant. And, uh, 
And it was a cute story that we were making out and 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 rolling in the hay in a, what what I now perceive as fucking in a world where what were we five years older than my daughter? Uh, like like just mind explosion. <laughs> uh, like uh, where where are we at now? What what are the rules? Oh, yeah, on but, that? No no no. But you were in her boss boss. CJ was the boss, and you guys were both serving CJ, right? Sure, but but in our story. We fell in love, became married, and lived happily ever up until this moment, at least. Uh, but, but in another story, uh, we would have a relationship. We would decide we weren't for each other, and then things would turn ugly. At which point, you know, who's to say who's at the higher power thing, and whether or not we should no, both blame no, no. I don't, I don't, CJ I don't think, for leaving us unattended, or you I, know, I don't. I mean, obviously, look, it's all personal responsibility at a certain point. And, and, and uh, the, the question at that point then becomes, how much do you feel that that kind of claim would have been warranted? I don't think that either of you two would have made that claim. Maybe uh, uh, there would be other people that would find that there was a worth in making a claim like that. But in general, I think the evolution is trying. I mean, like, so what you're describing is is the run amok version of the i think generally understandable idea that we should have less of a culture of casting couch so there should be less of a situation where cj is fucking his assistants like uh, in in this in that in that scenario than like somebody two young people fall in love on tour like uh, of, sure. of relatively equal rank uh uh that that's that i think is the is the larger idea in the katie hill situation wound up becoming uh, an interesting version of it because number one, she was a woman and number two, she was also a thing that had been made a, a, a big deal in DC, right. which is that Congress people have these young staffers and they fuck their young staffers and the young staffers believe that that's a way that they can get ahead. And there is something, at least in terms of a, federally funded position if the taxpayers are paying for it that maybe this is not the place where fucking your boss is a cool thing yeah and and to, to follow the thread completely like like we, we we could tie a bow on the katie hill thing like i'm i'm less fascinated by that at the moment but the shiniest object for me is uh everything the same only today instead of 25 years ago um would would there be an outrage if you found out that a 30, I think it was what, 30, 33 year old illusionist books only one hotel room for the three people, including a 20 year old Brian and a 21 year old female assistant. And they all sleep in the same room. And he's just cool with the 20 year old male and the 21 year old female sleeping in the same bed like that. I don't know that when I say that out loud, that sounds crazy. And yet that's the adorable romantic backstory of how Bonnie and I went on to make three babies. I mean, I think if it's, if people aren't on the, like, this is the, 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 the sliding doors of all romance though. Right. Like that, that, yeah, every romance could be forever or something that ends ugly. Like this is uh, uh, now to CJ's point, I guess, yes, there would probably be more of a culpability if Bonnie felt really me was really, really uncomfortable she was repulsed by Brian and she was disgusted by the idea that she would have to that she would have to be in in bed with him that like that would then be a twitter thread of like let well, me and, tell you about this awful illusionist right. that i was and for. and and i suppose that's the thing that's different today versus 25 years ago is 25 years ago all there was was the conversation in the room and the understanding that okay well we all want everybody to be comfortable like i remember one time there was somebody who uh was a stagehand that for whatever reason was uncomfortable uh, being in a king size bed separated, uh, 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 you know, like he didn't want to lay in the same bed as another dude. So yeah. I slept on the floor cause I was like, I yeah. don't want to make you uncomfortable. I'll sleep on the floor, whatever. Um, the, uh, 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 that moment only existed in the discussion that we have and the memories we still carry. Whereas nowadays we live in a world where Almost what really happened in the discussion and the understanding that people had is immaterial compared to what people days, months, years later decide they want to represent it as in terms of how comfortable they were or how 
vehement they were in expressing their discomfort about X, Y, or Z or whatever. Like, uh, all, I'm, all of which is to say, I'm glad I'm not dating. <laughs> like, I mean, but in this situation, you're actually in the worst position. You're in the hiring position. Because, like, what, like, uh, to me, the the person that would get roasted in that tweet thread wouldn't be you. It would, it would it be would CJ. Be yeah, CJ. That, that's what I'm saying. CJ, that, yeah, that that's so exactly. Are, we, are, we are now synchronized. In, yeah, you are in the worst position. You are, you are still the guy hiring. Like, the question is now: Would you be comfortable if you went on tour and you had, uh, and now let's eliminate gender right like right say that well, it, and, and it nowadays we women, live in a world where men it could exactly. be whatever right Doesn't matter yeah like that you are not booking do you need to be at a certain tour level where you're booking two rooms at the very least like to even go on tour now and and is is that the evolution well and and that's i, I it's like if I say I'm afraid of that, that makes it sound like I'm afraid it's going to like kick in the door in the middle of the night. You know, that's not a situation that, that comes for you. But, but, but there does seem to be sort of either you've, you've made it, you have so much money you can afford to buy out a whole, whole hotel ring, uh, wing and everybody's happy in, in their own room. And, and if anybody gets up to mischief, then you get to wag a finger and say, you signed the disclosure agreement that my lawyers paid for or whatever. And then there's, so powerless and small that it's like nobody involved has anything to lose, which is what I would imagine that moment was for all of us back in the day. You know, yeah. I, you know, where where Bonnie and I were happy to make. I think she made one hundred and twenty five dollars a gig for an overnight gig, and I made a hundred dollars, and and that was all the money in the world to us. Um, yeah. But then what I fear is for that 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 mushy middle, that ground of like nothing changes except for somebody kind of is successful and somebody is about to have a voice on Twitter and then whatever happens in those moments gets distorted. Although I, 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 I do think that we wind up in all things on social media fetishizing edge cases and we tend to think that the edge cases are and by, by, by fetishizing, I, 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 I assume you mean fearing because that's what I'm yes. feeling. I yes. fear them. Yes. 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 Yeah. That, that we are looking at those as like, but maybe like I, I read this thing or this thing happened like, you know, and, and now I'm I'm afraid that this is going to happen. Uh, uh, a lot of the money stuff, though, and that's really what it boils down to is like, OK, well, you are either creating an unsafe environment because you want to make money or save money. Uh, uh, you are cutting corners uh, like I, I think is, man, I really I, I, I almost I want to do like an essay or something, maybe like a visual essay about like, Hey, no one knows exactly how much everything costs, but if you look at anything, look at anything around you, uh, any uh, uh, entertainment outfit, look at this stream. If you're watching this stream and just guess what it costs, like guess, just take a screen grab and, and then just guess, just, dot all the things around it and and just guess what it costs to make to and, and bring this a free free content to you and i will guarantee you it's a lot of it's way more money than you think whatever that number you're gonna write down it's so much more than you think ever like the the more i've progressed in this world which is based on predicated on free content predicated on guess what have voice will travel I'll just keep talking into a microphone and eventually money's going to show up. I, I, I have uh, my, my business acumen is the, is identical to a fucking religious zealot who guts on a boat to nowhere. Like that's like, that's basically my business acumen. Uh, and what the further I've gotten along on this journey and low God has provided and money showed up eventually, like, is that, Everything is fucking so expensive. It's so expensive. Every step of it is more expensive than you think. And every bit of profit like is so slim. And in, in our line of work, almost immediately winds up falling back into the business one way or another. Well, and there's, like, there's multiple layers to that. That's, and, and I like the fact that, that up until the very end, you never mentioned cost in terms of dollars. You said, what do you think this costs? Because at the one point you're like, 
I don't know, you're a voice in my ear, and uh, eh, it was about 15 minutes. It was kind of like a good massage. Uh, you know, I don't know. What else were you doing? What, what are you going to play Gears of War? Eh, I don't know. Uh, cost, cost free. It's free. It's your time. And then it's like, oh, wait. Uh, well, I don't know. I guess there's a camera. I guess. Okay, uh, a whole month of internet. 15 minutes of it, Ooh, okay, that's 30 yeah. cents or whatever. Times two. Right, times two. right, times two. two. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess there is two of them. And, oh, yeah, I guess I guess somehow you got to uh, uh, have this this the, the, these set designs and uh, the backgrounds and the infrastructure. Oh, and I guess a little bit of real estate. Uh, I suppose taxes are a thing, but it still seems like uh, you're coming out way ahead. That's money for things and whatever. And then you get into, like, oh, Mm, yeah, I guess you did buy insurance and I bet I guess you did buy liability insurance and uh, 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 making sure that everything you say is complete. Oh, and I guess occasionally you do have to hire a lawyer to, to handle things. And then and, and you keep on going until you get to full fidelity for all the actual expenses. And then you say <laughs> then you get to the point where you're like, oh, yeah, I suppose if I was doing all this, I would want to draw a personal salary so that I could eat <laughs> on a yeah. daily basis and then maybe even save for retirement or whatever and even then you get to the point so imagine getting to full fidelity on all of that and then wrap your mind around oh i guess every second you're live on twitch you're not out there climbing the hollywood ladder meeting with muckety mucks and pitching them your latest thing it seems like every hour you spend on twitch you're sealing your fate of not being a Hollywood darling. Nobody ever jumps from the Twitch ladder over to the Hollywood ladder. Oh my gosh. If, if we factor in opportunity cost, this is a very huge bet you're making to be here with me right now. I mean, yeah. And, and, and compare that to whatever anybody assumes that anybody makes right and 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 what it matters and and now for us there's calculus that goes into it of like engagement and retention and and we know the value of giving uh, uh to people but like beyond what we're doing take it beyond us literally look around your room look outside when you're out when you look at a billboard think about what that billboard like costs to rent and then extrapolate how much money those people need to make to keep billboards up and just understand that the upper limit of that profit is always way lower than than uh, 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 you think. But that's oh, 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 I, also I, one I, more I, thing. At least that, 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 that my my experience. My experience is that everything costs so much more than you could ever imagine. Well, and and you, I, I think you're teasing at the same thing that Whistle 034 said in the chat, which is uh, uh, BTW little thing called risk. Uh, not only are you opportunity cost investing and uh, in everything that you know all the way up to your time but but you're doing it on a platform that can at a shrug and a whim cut you off from it which which i got a taste of this year with paypal just kind of shrugging saying i don't know looks like some of your items are sharp let's say i just hold on to this fifty thousand dollars for three months i mean yeah like uh, uh, uh yeah i but my, my my larger point wasn't to say that we're like heroes are struggling no we're like martyrs that. but, but, we're, but we're, rather, we're the best yeah. we're more important but, than everybody but rather, else but rather just like whatever you see a business and whenever you're like man i bet you those people are making a lot of money eh, are they <laughs> just, I, mean, I want you to just just in your head just hear me saying eh, are they <laughs> um Okay, so we have we to run off go. and but do the angry Although, by chicken. the way, uh, ICU says Dr. Disrespect has or had a TV deal. Uh, as people who have either had or uh, 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 will have again or, or been Multiple around TV deals. TV deals. Uh, you're not, yeah, you're not, you're not making money on this. Yeah, no, no. What you, you, you want to know what you get out of having a TV deal is being able to announce that you have a TV deal. There is, yeah, there was, there was a day in time where you could go on the Tonight Show and you could do your tight five and, and then somebody would give you a sitcom and you could buy a house. Spe and that was 50 fucking years ago. Speaking of which, uh, maybe that's a new item we'll have on scamstuff.com is called the tight five. And for $5, I will give you a TV deal. And you can tell everyone that you have a TV deal. You got a TV deal deal kid welcome to hollywood exactly all right look we love you guys sorry it's a short one we're just getting started see you on the angry chicken happy hour
Friday tax happy hour.